Yo, what is up everybody? So, I'm back with an updated crate organization video. Thank you to everybody who has watched the last one. I believe it just hit like 30,000, 31, 32,000 views. Um, it, as a matter of fact, if you search Serato Crate Organization, my video is the first one that pops up. So thank you for everybody uh, who liked my last one. Uh, this is an updated one, okay? I've been DJing every single weekend. My crates are my babies. I don't, I've watched so many crate organization videos, I have gathered ideas from them. So I'm not stealing ideas, I don't remember, you know, some names, so forgive me if you're watching this and you see some of your crate organization tips, I just forgot to mention you or your name. So if you have an idea in here and it was yours, just mention mention it in the comments or message me and I will get that taken care of. I'll give you proper credit and the link to your video. Anyways, let's get this started. So let's open up Serato. All right, I'm in my dance hall right now. I was actually organizing that. Um, as you can see, have all my music, have the all audio, all video, whatever. I have an acapella smart crate. I've been mixing a lot of acapellas in my music and in my mixes. So these are my acapellas, properly labeled, most of them. I have my instrumentals, same thing, so they're all smart grades. Let's see, I have my scratch sounds, scratch beats, shout out to the DJs that hooked me up with that. Uh, I have my performance. As you can see, this is a, a major crate with a lot of sub crates. Uh, these are all my performance stuff, like the classic hip hop that was for a classic hip hop radio show I did threw that together you know so anyways uh, paperwork as you can see right here these are color coded I like to use color codes whenever it comes to like sample play and wordplay and stuff and I also like to use the numbers you know this is for actual performance not mixing this is for performing and scratching and you know just things that DJs will catch not so much people so uh, this is, you know, I have the It's My Thing, it's the Fuck the Police sample. And then, you know, it goes into... Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that's how I color code like that. And obviously they're in numerical order, not BPM. Let's see, all record pools, I'll just make this a fast video really. All record pulls, this is the bulk of my library right here. Um, every single one of these record pulls I've tried. Uh, I quit all of them except for Crooklyn Clan. Crooklyn Clan is my newest one. I like them the best. They have the best edits for performers. Not, um, I mean, as far as like DJs go, I mean, they have everything for everybody. But edits wise, they have the, the best edits. And I love that, you know, you can't go on to BPM Supreme and find acapella out, really. You know, it takes a hit song for somebody to do that. And uh, I wasn't really able to find those until I got in a Crooklyn clan. So, promo only, I quit. They selected the music for me. I don't like that. Crooklyn clan, as you can see, big major crate. And I have, I separate them by um, months. So, I'm going to move this one up a little bit. There we go. Albums, albums. The reason those are there, I did not download the full album off the uh, website. Obviously, these are albums that I think would be good for them, and these are also albums that will fit a set that I'm playing from Crook and Clan. So as you can see, I got Dr. Dre the Chronic in there, but that's the clean version. I have to play a whole lot of clean music, so that's that. And downloads. These are songs that I download that. I feel like should have been in Crooklyn Clan, you know, mashup wise. So, you know, I peep, I peep those in there. Um, 2017 FBB NPC shows. That's for my career. It's not. That's what I DJ on the weekends mostly. Bodybuilding shows. This is what I DJ on the weekends. So, each category, each one of these is for me. You necessarily wouldn't know, but if you are in bodybuilding, shouts out to you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to go through that because that isn't what this is about. Uh, party bangers, these are for like all my, all my party hits. So um, obviously the main crate, you can access every single one of them. It's not a big folder. It's not a big folder. 
Um, shout outs to DJ Adivo for the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 method. I don't do 1.1, 1.2. That's just too many crates for me. I like it simple. The 1.0 is basically hip hop and, uh, it, you know, like, I don't know, take it to the house, perm, and my bring that beat back, you know, uh, look alive, new level, you know, it's all over the place, but, um, these are songs that I can play at a high school event. As you can see, they're all clean. So, uh, yeah, these are all like songs that I would play at high school events, proms, uh, graduation parties, stuff like that. Uh, the 2.0, these are throwback tracks. It's not that much. Working on it. 3.0, this is more uh, like an adult move playlist. There's a lot. A Michael Jackson in there. I need to work on this and add more to it. But anyways, that's how I'm going to organize those. 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. If I think of more, I'm going to add more. 4.0, 5.0, whatever. Those are in the works. New Jack Swing, uh, that's a genre crate. I need to uh, edit that genre and then boot it out. Organize the songs that are in there, then delete the crate. I do not like a lot of crates. Crate organization is key to maintaining a small Serato organized throughout a library. Tony's music, uh, that's specifically for the gym, I DJ at the gym. Uh, Grown and Sexy R&B, that's for like R&B nights. If I play something off of here, people are going to love it. Uh, backup All, I always keep my backup. This is the Mellow Blend hookup. These are all the songs that he got me because I got him earlier. Uh, Latin music, that's a big crate, sub crate, salsa, reggaeton, bachata. Uh, I haven't really played much live music, that's why it's not really updated. Music videos, something new, as you can see, sub crates in there. Citify, that's top secret, look it up. Um, 2016, top 100. Um, these are all like popular songs from yesterday, but these are all intro versions, not one of them is a regular version. So, pretty much any of these songs you can play at a wedding, whatever. Um, except for down in the DM, I don't think that's really appropriate. Uh, Arnold Expo. All songs I would play at the Arnold Expo. Beatport Downloads. That names itself. This actually needs to go right up here with my record pool downloads. Because Beatport is a record pool. Let's see. Uh, disco Funk Breaks. This is a whole lot of Disco Funk and Breaks that I like to play. It's not all of mine. These are ones that I like to play. DJ Drops, all drops me and my partner AJ had made, shout outs, DJ Mellow Blends, Quiet Storm DJs, come check us out, QuietStormDJs.com. I have a dub and reggae folder, all of those were actually in there, so I can delete that. Nelson Edits, these are all edits that I have made for myself. Uh, matter of fact, I put these edits on my website for free. Um, all you have to do is go to my website and click download. Go to the music tab and you'll be able to find them. Pharrell Productions. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pharrell. That's why I have that. Slow Dance. Um, just in case if somebody requests a slow dance, I can come straight to here instead of thinking, okay, what's a good slow dance song? I can come here and make a choice based on that. Uh, throwbacks. These are all throwbacks from CDs that I've ripped from, you know, back in the day when I was making like mixtapes, you know, from middle school and stuff. You know, I just rip them and, you know, didn't have an iPod or nothing. All I have is a CD player. So that's what these are. Um, my tone play, that's performance, but I don't really perform it a lot, so I keep it down. And it's not organized yet, so I don't want to really put it in my performance area either. Um, top country, top country hits, pretty much the same. Uh, these are intro and regular versions, top country hits. These are just regular songs. So, yeah, I'll have to organize those. Vinyl rips, these are all rips that I've ripped from my own vinyl collection. I organize those uh, in months. Obviously, I've not done them in a couple months, but I got, I'm going to get back to it. Uh, weddings, so I have these set out. Um with a pre-sessional and cocktail hour um, that's one you know it's just stuff I play for the pre-sessional and for the cocktail hour cocktail hour is also um, the dinner 
you know, I sift through that in dinner. Dinner's mainly my adult contemporary with some added, like, party songs if the party starts getting thrown in there. And each one of these uh, names is a wedding I've DJed. Uh, so I just keep that on there in case if, you know, somebody asks me, you know, um, hey, do you remember that song? What was that song that you played for cake cutting? You know, because sometimes they leave it up to me. So I'll keep that in there, you know, for at least a year and then delete it. Reggae and dance hall, shout out to DJ Tamil for that hookup. Um, don't really play a lot from there. I still, as you can see, need to edit that. I hate the way that looks. So I'm going to edit that. DJ sound effects. I do not condone those, but I still keep them. Keyed crates, all smart keys. I'm missing a key because there is a little bug in it. I need to update my Serato. Uh, party playlists, you can find any... You can rock a party just off this playlist. You don't even need the new stuff. This is all like party hits. Uh, some of them I don't really agree with now, like Party on Fifth Avenue. Um... Or the payphone acoustic version. <laughs> you know, I, I have to sift through it, but, you know, it works. There's a lot of songs in there. Purchase music, these are all uh, iTunes and Amazon uh, purchases. You know, songs that I needed at the time or needed for weddings or, you know, bought back in the day before I started DJing. So these are all those syncopated dances. Those are line dances. Uh, I need to update it. Amazon downloads, these are all Amazon downloads, which I don't use. Uh, all my rock, all modern rock. So this is all modern rock. I'm just going to throw this into my all and put this modern rock underneath the rock. So that's one less playlist that I see. My Red Bull. Uh, and as you can see, if you need to move something, just drag it. Adult Contemporary, this is all of my Adult Contemporary music. It, it speaks for itself. 12-inch Classics, these are all 12-inch Classics that you can see. A lot of hip-hop in like 80s 12-inch uh, uh, records in there. You know, the instrumentals, the club mixes, stuff like that. These are perfect for old school. Um, a new thing I'm working on for the ending of this year is the billboard I'm working on getting every single top 100 billboard song uh, down to the 50s so you know I'm gonna work on the top 100 of all time first you know those are songs a lot of people should know you know even the older generations you know for the older music so whew, please excuse me for that <laughs> So yeah, so um, that's for the top 100. Then I'm going to go back to the 50s, get all the 50 songs, get all the 60s, 70s, and categorize them. You know, so that way if I'm DJing a public event, they're like, hey, can you throw on some 70s? I have the top 100 of the 70s there, and I can, you know, DJ based off that. And last but not least, I have my dance hall. This is a new crate I just started. I'm working on getting my dance hall in, obviously, as you can see. Um... It's just something I'm trying to throw in to be more diverse. It's really starting to hit the, the radio. People like the beats. So I'm going to work with it, see what I can do. But anyways, guys, um, flipping off of Serato back right here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was a good update for you. Hope this helped. Like I said, DJs, if, if you've seen an organization tool that you used that I may have seen and I did not give you proper credit, just leave it down there and I'll make sure you get your credit. Um, but other than that, guys, I, I just really hope uh, this helped you. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, or questions, or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Feel free to message me. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, um, for booking, music by DJNelson.com. Go check it out. I'm going to start putting my tutorials on there. I'm going to start having uh, more tutorials, more, you know, like DJ related videos, DJ and production. DJ and production. So, if you have any questions about production, um, yeah, you'll you'll see those in the future. Uh, but anyways, I know I said that quite a few times. It's time for me to go. I gotta go to Charleston this weekend. It's I gotta start packing up. So, till next time. Hope this helped. Peace.